Hello and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel, we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey, and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today, we're going to be doing the daily reading for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. And today is a day that's ruled by the third eye and guided by magic. And the galactic signature for today is the blue rhythmic monkey energy. So this is a really fun energy that we're working with today. The blue monkey energy is all about play, magic, and illusion. So today's really about being spontaneous, embracing the spontaneity, having fun, being playful, seeing life as a giant playground, essentially, and all of our manifestations as the same. And understanding with this rhythmic tone of organizing balance and equality, that we can reorganize our reality any way we want. If we want to play in a different way, we can play in a different way. It's all about finding that balance and being really open today to the ways that that balance is introduced and offered to us and really embracing that and accepting that and going with the flow and just having that that energy of life is an adventure. The blue monkey energy can be a little bit tricky. It is about magic and illusion. And so the monkey likes to play. He is that sacred trickster. But just understand if there are things unraveling in your reality today, if things feel a little bit chaotic, this is just them being reorganized for our highest good and for our highest benefit. And it may not necessarily always look like that in the moment, especially if we're really attached today to a certain way that we expected things to go. Today is a day to really expect the unexpected and to embrace the unexpected. And then it says, I like this quote, what we create in the world, we must first create within ourselves. For there to be magic in your life, you must first believe in magic. So believe in magic today. Freely play. Don't take yourself so seriously. Don't take this game of life so seriously. Really allow it to, to move and to flow and to grow the way that it is meant to. And just be along for the ride and along for the experience today. The affirmation for today is, I organize in order to play, balancing illusion. I seal the process of magic with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by my own power doubled. And we have some interesting astrology today that is accompanying this energy. I think it's really great that we have this energy because we want to keep that energy of play alive. We have some interesting configurations going on. We have, and oh, I got to fast forward this a little bit. Because the moon moves so quickly, uh, we see different configurations as we move through the day. And so moving into alignment uh, this morning as I'm recording this, uh, it is like 1040 on Eastern Standard Time right now. Uh, whenever you see this, it, it may very well be different. <clears throat> but right now we do have a T-square going on between the moon, Eris, and Pluto. And, and as we move further into the, the, the day, this T-square is going to get more exact, but it's also going to be accompanied by a mystic triangle between the moon, Mars, and Pluto. And so the mystic, the T-square is a, an aspect that is rife with uh, tension. The uh, mystic triangle is a more beneficial, a lighter energy, a, a more, uh, it's just, it's, it's activating, but it's activating in a way that feels good, right? We have, we have a trine and a sextile. <clears throat> so it's a very supportive energy, as is the T-square when we learn how to work with it. But this energy I'm feeling, uh, remember, we have Mars and Eris, right? So Eris in this, this T-square with Pluto and the moon. The moon's still in Cancer, so this is our emotional nature. And this is our P-O-W-E-R that we are working with, all right? Uh, Eris is, we talk about her as the feminine W-A-R-R-I-O-R -R energy, and if you guys want to see videos where I'm not spelling everything out, check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Those links are in the description box below. There's a lot more uh, F-R-E-E-D-O-M there as far as um, expression goes. But uh, as far as I've noticed thus far. Uh, but yeah, so that, that feminine W-A-R-R-I-O-R -R -R energy with Eris. And then when we have this... Uh, this this pleasant uh, mystic triangle happening later today that is with the male w a r r i o r energy and that is in the sign of Taurus so that's really uh, Mars is coming in as a balancing energy I feel like but that aspect of our natures is very much being activated today and supported and evolving but we may notice especially with Pluto and the Moon joining Eris uh, we may get T R I G G E R E E E D today. 
And so we want to watch out. We want to watch when, when those T-R-I-G-G-E-R-S's come up. And we want to really see and, and notice uh, why that is, what's underneath that for us. This could especially come up today when we are looking at situations where we feel taken advantage of, where we feel others are being taken advantage of, where we're seeing, we're seeing people in P-O-W-E-R or people who believe that they have P-O-W-E-R, right? Who are possibly taking advantage of others and we're really going to want to stand up for ourselves and others today if we see that kind of energy going on. So we just want to notice it's it's a lot of shadow material, some unconscious material that may be brought to light today, especially around our emotional nature. And so if we're feeling that, if we're noticing that, we just want to notice that. And we want to tap into this blue monkey energy and just be playful about it, playful with what's coming up and really just, you know, just, just, uh, recognize it for what it is an opportunity for us to go deeper and see what wounds are laying underneath there that are possibly, um, being, being, uh, brought to the surface. Uh, we do have a lot of powerful psychic energy going on today. We, as well with this, uh, Pluto, a highly psychic planet, the moon, highly psychic, especially in the sign of cancer. And so that's really fun energy to play with. We can really tap into that energy today and just, just have that process of having fun, man. We got the moon, the moon also trining Neptune, which is really supporting that energy. So let's go out there. Let's have some fun. Let's make whatever comes up today fun for us. Make it interesting. Just really uh, look at it for what it is. Bring love to it. Always bring love into these situations. If we are feeling T-R-I-G-G-E-R-E-D today, we want to bring love into that. Love for whatever situation or person is providing us that opportunity to look more deeply into ourselves. Love for ourselves and love for wherever this wound comes from. And sometimes it's not even ours. Sometimes it's a collective wound that's coming up. Um, especially with, you know, we have Pluto, which is a collective planet. And so just paying attention to that as well. And just understanding when we heal any of this stuff, we are healing it for the collective. And I'm going to jump right in with some work your light cards today. Clear. These cards get a lot of use. I really love them. They always want to come out and play. So what guidance do we have for today? What energies? Uh, that, those came out weird, so we're not taking those. Well, oh, fuck. Okay. Maybe, yes, we are, actually. <laughs> It's so funny when I do this and then they don't, and then I see the cards and I'm like, oh. they would have popped back out anyway, because that's how it happens, right? So we have play coming out. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. That's that blue monkey energy coming through. And then we also have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. And on the bottom of the deck, we have protection, call back your power, cut the cord, soul retrieval. So a lot of that energy, this is like what's coming up, that unconscious material. Uh, those, like some of this stuff, like I said, it's collective stuff. It's not even ours. The stuff that is ours sometimes is coming from past lives, right? And if this is, these are deep soul patterns, both for ourselves and the collective that we're healing. So when these things come up, this is giving us an opportunity to see where we can call our power back, where we can cut the cord so that we're not being drawn into that energy. Um, where we still have, for some people, um, you're going to notice today where you still feel that there are cords between you and other people. And you can call an Arch Archangel Michael. He's really great for cutting those cords. Um, if you guys wanted additional help with this, please reach out to me. My email is in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, it's noticing these soul patterns that are coming up. Um, noticing where where our power feels as though it is being... Uh, it is being drained. Like, where are we giving away our power today? And where can we take that back? That's a big energy. That's what it's about. It's not about reacting. It's about, okay, so how can I call my power back? And part of the way that I call my power back is by not react, not being reactionary to situations, being, uh, just being fully present and conducting myself from a place of integrity, not allowing other people to push my buttons right? That is, that is P-O-W-E-R. And so just really understanding that there's, there's, po there's a potential today to retrieve some aspects of our soul as we release these old patterns and contracts, as we call back, like calling back our P-O-W-E-R a lot of times is also calling back aspects of our soul. And so we could be experiencing that today or situations that are facilitating and providing the fertile ground for those aspects of our soul to return to us because they won't return until they know that they're going to be safe, held, and respected. 
right? And then this but this play energy coming in and reminding us like, yes, all of this stuff is going on and some of it might feel a little heavy, but it can also feel really freeing, right? So today's all about, about being in that energy of being free and being flowing and being spontaneous and just like not allowing like, yes, we're doing deep soul work, right? But it doesn't have to feel heavy. It doesn't have to feel like a burden. It can feel fun. All right. What else? Oh, my God. So many cards popping out for us here. Mm. So we have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? And then we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? And we have share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution and expression. And then we also have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So lots of different energies coming out for us, right? But it's really like today is a day where we may see, <clears throat> we may really be noticing what is not in alignment with us, what needs to go. And some of that is in our physical world. Some of that is in our energetic world. That's where we go, we go to uh, really cutting some, some of those cords and taking back our P-O-W-E-R, right? Uh, just really paying attention to that and seeing, is it something energetically? Is it something physically? What is not aligned? What is not resonating? And how can I release that? And where can I create? For some people, it's because there's not boundaries in place, right? Like there may, there may be aspects of our lives where we can't just, uh, we can't just turn and walk away because we are, it's like family situations that we, that we can't, I mean, it is possible to, uh, to remove yourself from your family dynamic sometimes. And if it is possible and you need to do that, I always recommend people to do that. These are the people that we were born to. We were born to them for a reason. But a lot of times in really difficult family dynamics uh, where we are, we are that black sheep type energy, right? The black sheeps are the game changers. They are the way showers. If you, if you consider yourself that in your family, it's probably because you were here to show another way. And sometimes that means going our own way. Right. And that's how we heal that for our ancestral line is by walking away and doing something different. However, sometimes we can't do that. Sometimes there are people in situations in our lives where and we, maybe we don't even need to do that. We just need to set better boundaries. And then those boundaries will bring the energy into alignment. So really paying attention today to where those boundaries need to be set. And yes, calling back your PW, P-O-W-E-R, um, Cutting those core energetic cords is another way to create boundaries. So look where you need to create stronger energetic boundaries today. Where do you need to create stronger boundaries with people in your physical world? And how can that process possibly bring things back into alignment? Because sometimes that's just all we need. We don't know how to, we don't realize how to say no. We don't know that we can say no. We don't, uh, we haven't fully absorbed that saying no means saying yes to ourselves and that we are worthy of saying yes to right? And so this is, it's a process. It's a, it's, there's a, there's a learning curve here. All right. And the beginning we learned, we start setting boundaries and then we don't necessarily, it's like, we feel really accomplished because we set the boundary, which was hard enough for us in the first place. But then we realize that we have to uphold that boundary and we don't know how to do that. And so it's constantly having to reset and to rig, figure out how do I stand behind this, right? Because if you're setting boundaries with someone you've never set boundaries with before, they might not necessarily respect that right away because they still expect you to cave. And so they're going to test you. They're going to push you to see if you're going to uphold those boundaries. Did they really mean that? And so that's when the most important part of that process is staying firm in that and not allowing, not allowing that dynamic to occur, staying firm. And so, uh, and that's how we bring, we bring energy into alignment. And it's a really great teaching tool for them too, because some people have never had boundaries set with them. Some people don't know how to respect boundaries. And so we're teaching them, we're giving them a gift by showing them how to do that, by showing them what it's like to respect another person's space, to respect another person's energy and to not have a choice in that matter. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, lots of energy around that today. And then this energy of us really being called to step out, trust our path and share our voice. Right. And on the bottom of the deck, we have jump. You go first, the universe will catch you. And so it's really like whatever this path is that's unfolding before you, you're being asked to trust it. You're being asked to, for a lot of people, and this has been coming up a lot lately, you're being asked to share your voice. There's something you have to say that has value that will help people, that people need to hear, 
right? And so do that. And for some people, this is sharing your voice when it comes to setting boundaries, when it comes to uh, telling people what it is that you really need. So please feel like you're, you are being you are being so supported in that process. And that's part of your path. That's part of the sleep is learning how to do that and knowing that it's going to be okay, right? If you are afraid of the reaction of the people around you, then you just have to look at that. Why is that? What am I afraid will happen if I stand up for myself, if I call back my PO? W-E-R, if I use my voice, if I set those boundaries, right? And just know that that is an important part of your spiritual path and your learning process right now is learning how to do that. But it's really just about in all the ways that we can let ourselves shine, this share your voice energy. Where, How can we allow ourselves to be seen and heard today and every day? Because for a lot of people, that's a big part of what their path is too, is really allowing yourself to be seen. And just know that this is a process. It's all practice, right? This is reminding me of a conversation that I've had over the past couple days, right? It's all practice. Just practice expressing yourself, getting more and more comfortable doing that, sharing your voice in little ways and then in bigger ways, and just really allow allowing that. And we had yesterday Joan of Arc come in uh, and she really wanted to assist people as well as Mary Magdalene in using their voice in sharing what they know. And so you can call on them to help you. Their energy is still coming through, especially Joan of Arc for people. Um, really uh, don't worry. It's like we, and a lot of this comes from past lives too. And this is some of that past life healing that's happening for people. Some people even have soul contracts around this, I'm hearing, when it comes to sharing their voice, when it comes to stepping into their P-O-W-E-R, when it comes to all of these aspects, right? And so it's healing those wounds, healing healing those, those uh, past life experiences that made us fear. And for a lot of us, it's also in this life. There may have been, it might not have been to the magnitude that it was in other lives, say when you used your gifts and you were heavily persecuted for it, but it could be just little things, right? Just those little instances uh, where where we felt as though it wasn't okay to use our voice. We were shamed for it. We were shut down. Uh, we were silenced for whatever reason. And so really moving out of that energy and embracing that and healing that stuff. And as we heal that stuff, especially whatever is coming up around that in this lifetime, that helps to heal the energy from past lifetimes as well. And as I said, please reach out to me. We can do a lot with this in Theta Healing. Uh, we can also do some stuff with this in Bel Vespita. Uh, so uh, if you want assistance, uh, my descript my emails below. But yeah, just really uh, moving past that energy, healing that energy, coming out of that energy. And uh, yes, as I said today, we may feel very called to share our voice if we notice this this persecution, any of this energy happening in the world around us. Uh, trust in your path. Yeah. So for some people, this is an important aspect of that path, but there's just all kinds of things coming up right now, as far as just whatever, wherever it is that we're being called to go. A lot of people, whether we realize it or not, are really being called in the direction of our soul's yearnings in this lifetime, but we're not necessarily trusting it. We're, we're second guessing it because we don't see how it's going to work out. We're scared that it's not going to work out. Uh, we feel there's still a bit of a lack of support there. We we want to trust the universe, but we're not sure that we're 100% in. And so the universe is like, get 100% in and I will show you how supported you are is sort of the energy. And then with the mirror energy coming up too, who or what is, is T-R-I-G-G-E-R-I-N-G-U today, right? So re us really paying attention to that energy and what it's showing us and what it's teaching us and what is ready to come up to be healed because there's a lot of deep emotional healing and we're preparing for that full moon in Virgo. If you guys haven't seen that video, I put it out yesterday. It is, there's a lot of deep emotional healing going on. Uh, our mental bodies, our emotional bodies, our spiritual bodies, a lot of that 333 energy coming through for that full moon. So definitely check out that video. I feel like we're warming up to that energy right now and it's going to be really, really profound and beautiful. Yes. And then the ever unfolding rose. Reminding you, it's happening for you, not to you. Whatever is happening right now is wherever, whatever you're being shown, whatever is coming up to be healed, whatever is being possibly uh, removed or like the universe is, is trying to shake it out of your grasp because it's not in alignment, that's happening for your benefit. So it's like getting out of that V-I-C-T-I-M me mentality, right? And understanding that it's all a gift and it's all happening for our highest benefit. And then I love that no is here. 
right? Like we said, saying no is saying yes to yourself. Learning to say no when we need to. Uh, carving out that time and that space for ourselves and our own healing. Protecting our own energy. It is never a bad thing to protect your energy. And that's how we protect our energy sometimes. We... um. We say no to people. We don't answer phone calls. We we tell people that we're busy, even if we're not. Uh, you can be busy doing whatever you want to do. Busy doesn't mean you're going, going, going. Busy could mean like I'm meditating and taking a bath and uh, giving myself a facial. You know what I mean? Like it could be anything. And then take a break. Yeah, so we're really being called to, uh, to step off the treadmill today. And to, uh, it's a life's work, not a season, like it says here, right? And so really... Um, just allow ourselves that that space for all of this deep work to occur and to really just enjoy our lives at the same time to whatever extent. It's like if things get too heavy today, spirit just keeps telling us, pull back your energy, uh, nurture yourself, love yourself and play. Go do something fun. Go do something to switch up the energy if it gets too heavy. This is a natural process that's unfolding. Yes, pay attention to what's coming up for you, to what's wanting to be healed. But uh, also just like uh, don't sink into too much heaviness today. Uh, shift that energy, switch that energy by doing something spontaneous, by doing something fun. And just know that this is an organic, naturally occurring process that is happening right now. So it's really just about allowing that process to happen and trusting that process, trusting that process of transformation, deep cellular healing, right? All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, like this video. Uh, likes, comments, share, subscribes, all of that stuff, stuff really helps the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate you all. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.